Hey, this is Eric Dom, and this is everything I do in a day. So I don't have a normal regimented schedule at all, but on a normal day, I'd say wake up around 10 a.m. I use the alarm tone that it's like apocalypse now. It's a bam, bam, bam. It's the immediate heart attack as soon as you wake up. So you wake up with anxiety. I will snooze anywhere from five to 10 times. If I need to get up at 10, I will start at like 9.30 and there will be increments just to get me up. So the first thing I do when I get out of bed, I will check my phone real quick because I live in Korea, but my stuff is split between LA and Korea. There's always stuff that happens overnight while I'm sleeping. So I check my phone, make sure there isn't anything crazy urgent I have to jump on the phone for, and then I will head to my bathroom. The first thing I do when I get to the bathroom is I look at myself in the mirror and I am usually shocked at how I look. And then I tell myself it's gonna be okay and jump in the shower. <laughs> Nobody looks good getting out of bed. When you get out of bed, you are swollen, you are bloated, your eyes are kind of like this. I look like a Sesame Street character in real life when I wake up, but not like the cute ones, like kind of like the ones that look a little rough around the edges. So I go to the bathroom, get in the shower, shampoo your hair, body wash, face wash, and then I'm out. And then I will take my toothbrush, toothpaste, and I'll brush my teeth. Really just get in there. Nobody wants that stinky morning breath. I have an electric toothbrush and a regular toothbrush. I think I find myself gravitating towards a regular toothbrush more often. I don't have the patience to sit there and let it actually just do its job. I would rather just be aggressive and just get in there and just get it done. And then I take some gargle, Listerine, just start the day feeling real fresh. Then I go through my uh, morning skincare routine. First of all, shave. Once I shave, I try to put some aftershave on. So I do that and then I go through my routine, which is you have a toner, an essence, you got some serum, you got eye cream, you got a moisturizer, you got your SPF. Am I missing anything? I think that's good, right? That's enough, that's enough for a day. Skincare routines can take a long time, but for me, I really think I'm done with it in about a minute and a half, two minutes. And then I dry my hair. I didn't use to dry my hair either, but my hairstylist team was like, that's really bad for your scalp because you're letting your scalp just sit there wet. So I've started to dry my hair. That's what grown people do apparently. And I get dressed. Typically, I find myself wearing sweats. So really comfortable track pants and sneakers from Nike and a hoodie. As I get ready, I'm always playing music or I'm listening to a podcast. So in the morning, I'm listening to The Daily from New York Times or I'm listening to Dak Shepard. I have a few podcasts that I do. I like to go back and listen to what I did, my work, um, just to make sure the quality's here. So I have two shows, one's called K-Pop Tebak, which is kind of like a personal K-Pop show, and then another one called I Think You're Dope, which is interviewing interesting, fascinating people from all around the world. So Olympians, actors, authors, musicians, a lot of podcasts in the morning. So I do that, go to my kitchen, and if I'm in a rush, I'll have like an espresso pod, and if I have some time, I'll do the French press thing. I usually don't really eat breakfast, but if I am having breakfast, breakfast is pretty simple. It's oatmeal, and uh, if I have whatever frozen fruits, blueberries or bananas or whatever I have laying around, I'll just kind of throw it all in, and that's my breakfast for the day. And then I'm out the door to do whatever I need to do. Depending on the day, it's very different, but if I'm out the door, let's say like 10.30, get picked up by my manager, and we have a van, it's called the Carnival. We spend so much time in it that it's kind of, it's like a second home on wheels. If it's a day where we're shooting something, we have press, we're gonna head to hair and makeup and we'll spend about an hour there getting hair and makeup did. It's because we gotta look good on camera. If I haven't had breakfast, I'll probably order something like poke bowls, but in Korea they're called hitopap. So it's a little bit different. You have your raw sashimi on bed of lettuce over rice with red pepper paste with a little bit of vinegar. It's sweet, it's tangy. I like to think it's nutritious and healthy. It is, right? Yeah. So once we're done, we're ready. So we go to the studio. Usually I'd say normal studio, I get in around two o'clock. If it's a good day, you know, the song is really easy or we've already worked on it or I know exactly what I'm doing, we'll be in and out in the span of three to four hours. On a long day, let's say six o'clock, we'll be there from two to six. You've been singing for a few hours, you've been using your creative juices, we're hungry again, so we gotta eat again. We either order to the studio or if we have some time, we'll go out to a restaurant nearby. And then usually we have a bunch of other stuff to do. I will head usually to a studio to do a podcast. I have two weekly podcasts 
And so editing those, recording those, writing for those, setting things up, that takes up a lot of my time. So after recording, we'll go do a podcast. Sometimes it's with myself, sometimes it's with a guest, a special guest. Take all of our photos, make sure everybody looks good, everybody's happy, we got our social assets. And then we will usually go to the studio to get into dance rehearsal. We start tend to start around like 10 ish. It's just easiest for us to get all of our schedules together with me and my team later at night. It'll be either cleaning up pieces that we haven't done in a while or learning new ones that we have to prepare for the tour or the album drop. And typically we'll go to about midnight, I'd say on a short day. Usually it'll go a little longer. After you dance for a few hours, what happens? Everyone's hungry again. And Korea has this amazing nightlife and night culture that revolves around specific types of food that are available at night. For example, you may have heard of it, chimek, chicken and beer. You have like your regular fries, you got your spicy fries, you got your sweet and sour, you got your onion, you got your cheese, you got your barbecue, like literally the list goes on forever. I wish I was making this up, this is completely true. You can look this up. So we will either order it to the studio or if I have friends that are waiting around, I'll go to like a local watering hole that I like to, to frequent. Once you're eating, you're drinking, you can't immediately go to bed. So like, you kind of sit there, you kind of talk for a bit. At this point, my team's gone. I walk home and I get ready for bed, drink a lot of water. I tend to light a candle or so. I really like different scents. So I light a candle. I will play some music, shower, all my makeup off because I've been doing press stuff and shooting stuff all day. Do my nighttime skincare routine. Probably go to bed around 4.30, stare at my iPhone, on Instagram, looking at photos or videos or whatever. And then I recently, and this is probably the worst addition to my room, I got a TV. So I end up watching Netflix on that, watching some murder mystery, feeling really bad about life. And then I'm like, be thankful that your life is amazing. And I fall asleep. So yeah, that's kind of like a condensed, packed schedule of what I do in a day. It's a lot, but that's why I'm always awake. Anyways, hope you have a great day. See y'all soon.